Fucking Henny and this motherfucking bitch right now. Like, it's been a long motherfucking week at work. I'm tired of working these nine to fuck the fives. I'm ready. Cut up. Uh huh. Yeah. Mmm. Listen. She got her hands in the air and she shaking that ass. She take it down to the ground. I know my bitch Ray Cutter. She swinging that weed. She got her middle fingers up and not giving a fuck. I know my bitch Ray Cutter. Rich bitch Cutter. But real bitch Cutter. Uh huh. She really, really act a fool with it. Cut up a cut up a bitch. Shut up. Yeah, we really, really act a fool with it. Gonna bring the girls out that be shaking that ass. Uh-huh. Spin to bring the niggas out that be spinning that cash. Ding. Call a friend, pull up. Yeah, we all at the club. We yeah. going up all night and we don't get no fuck. Say, ooh, ah, let me see what you got. Ooh, ah, baby, give me my guts. I say, ooh, ah, let me call it. Warning. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotape, or video discs under certain circumstances without authorization of the copyright holder. This infringement of copyright is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news, recording, teaching, and parody. All records, footage, and resources used are all public records researched and compiled all together for awareness, educational, and entertainment purposes of the video. All right, me and me. Shit, he he. It's like, no. Yeah, shout out to the Night and Day Network, y'all. So, okay. Hello to everybody who's new. Welcome back to New People. I'm Sai J. This is. I'm Monet. What's up, y'all? Look, this is. All right. So, um. Yeah, we're going to jump into this video. So we want to talk about. All right, so Night and Day Network. So I wanted to uh, pull this up because they had Aries. Um, what's his name? Aries. Aries Spears. So we want to talk about this Aries Spears stuff with the Lizzo. So, you know, he started with the Lizzo thing. All right, so, yeah, we're going we gonna to jump into this real quick. Just um, get a little... A little um, Viewer with a little we'll, background of it, right? We're gonna do a, a broke story, so let's jump into this. We're gonna give y'all some shout outs, and we're gonna skip all this oh. because we just see it for a little bit of tea. But yeah, shout out to Night and Day Network, yes. So, you know what I'm saying? Mike Epps kind of came Try at, at Aries. Oh, man, I hate this damn shit. But Mike Epps kind of came at the Aries because he was coming at Lizzo. So we're going to um, start there. But basically, he was calling Lizzo fat. And, um, yeah, you can see what Solid he looked like. Solid stick in a crazy odor like at the regular her. price. And you get free wipes and a free... Right. Keeping it at. It's like you inside of a uh, space suit. Oh, no, 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 so, um, let's get into the clip. Um, Aerie Spears responded. Oh, yeah, yeah Aerie Spears responding to everybody because, you know, everybody was going at him. Like, I know he ain't got room to talk, you know, with right. him looking like that because he said he's handsome. He <laughs> said, I could talk about Lizzo. He said, I, I could do it. He said, I'm, I'm handsome. I, I still get cat. You know what I'm saying? And two they fried chickens are also, also being a funny guy. Half dead his damn self. So. That that's why he's able to talk about Look her like that. Mm. Yeah, people say he's two cheeseburgers away from cardiac arrest. Yeah. So we, we, that's what yeah, that's what they, let's get into what uh Aerie Spears response is to all the haters out there. Oh, what up, it's your boy Airy Spears. I had to put the Yankee on for this one. Listen, I know I'm trending right now because of the Lizzo joke. And I just want to say, man, some, a lot of you women are funny, you know, with the critiques. I ain't funny. I'm fat, unattractive. No woman wants me. They always try to hurt you with what works for you the most. That's what they try to hurt. That's like you break up and you go, that's why you got a little wee-wee and you can't screw. But you've been with them for years. I'm 32 years in this game and I ain't funny. I'm 32 years in this game and I ain't never got no meow. That's hilarious. Y'all don't deal in logic and sense. You deal in emotion and anger. Come with something that's not subjective. Me being unfunny, unattractive, that's not a fact. That's subjective. Stop leading with emotion and anger and come with facts. You heard me? Do you have me for the link to the podcast? If there's any women out there who want to give me some, you know, 
for some of this uh, holler at me. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so that was the first video. That was that. That's what happened first. The next thing you know, they come out with the whole Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears being sued for sexual, sexual abuse. Okay? They come out with the allegations about that. So we're going to jump into that and you tell me what you think about this. Where yeah. Spears and Haddish molested him while filming a Funny or Die video titled Through a Pedophile's Eyes. Tiffany's attorney, Andrew Brettler, says the lawsuit was purely an extortion attempt, telling us plaintiff's mother, Treza Morris, has been trying to assert these bogus claims against Ms. Haddish for several years now. Brettler continues, the attorney says every attorney who has initially taken on her case, and there were several, ultimately dropped the matter once it became clear that the claims were meritless and Ms. Haddish would not be uh, shaken down. Now, Ms. Morris has her adult daughter representing herself in this lawsuit. The two of them will together face the consequences of pursuing this frivolous action. The siblings claim Haddish was friends with their mother, and they say that the video featuring John Doe was published online via Funny or Die when he was just too young to consent. In their suit, the sister says her resulting trauma has prevented her from dating because she's scared she would be taken advantage of and led down a path of false mm -hmm. trust like the path that Haddish led her down. Both siblings say they have developed social disorders, and the brother claims he is afraid of being watched or recorded. He places band-aids over the cameras on all his electronics. The siblings also say their mother tried to reach a $15,000 settlement with Spears over the alleged molestation video. They are going after Haddish and Spears for damages. Yikes. So that's that. Um, let me go back to you. So, 15000 15000 cuz. So, okay. So, so far, um, Ari Spears, was, he was being attacked because he was attacking Lizzo. And then now he's being attacked again. And he's being brought back into the light again because... Him and Tiffany are having allegations put on them about the sexual abuse. Now, I didn't look at the video. I didn't see the video. I didn't want to look at the, the video because uh, it's a child. And um, I, I thought that it would be a whole lot more extra to the video. I don't know because I didn't see it. But on your end, what you thought? Well, you first. First, I don't really believe in these little coincidences. I do think right. there's a connection there with he had an insult towards Lizzo. Right. By the way, it was an interview, and the person strictly were speaking, was speaking about facts. They were speaking about her music. But mm -hmm. he chose to be subjective, his own words, and brought it about, you know, his own personal feelings on her look, her weight, whatever. Right, ironic. No, I find that, that. I, I find that like okay, is there? It's like, what is the hate for? You know right. what I'm saying? Um, I think that he needs to look at his own words <laughs> and understand what he's saying first. You look so in the mirror, hate. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Use like, a subjective. You, my you thing is, you this, you that, but he. If we're even going to speak on that just a little bit here, we're going to address this a little bit. What does the way she looked have to do with her talent or or numbers that she's put up? through her skill. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think people have to stop trying to connect it to, you know, if you can play an instrument on the stage, why should that matter? If you're big, small, tall, short, the instrument's still getting played. Yeah, they do you know? have to. Um, Don't stop. get me wrong. Your image does have to be so what quote unquote cleaned up, but mm -hmm. you know, for him to just bring that up on his own out of in an interview, it's like, mm -hmm. so I, I think he had, I, I think there was a motive there. And now somehow, now he's getting caught up in this other news. Because right after that interview, it seemed like, oh, wow, this this skit, this yeah. random skit dropped. It now felt like it was like it felt like it was like a because you know you know what they pull these little stunts in the industry. Mm -hmm. They pull these little stunts. In, let me pull this up so I can see what I'm doing. But they pull these little stunts in the industry where they got like you know all of a sudden they're just out back. They've been going all this time. 
Right. And then all of a sudden, they just pop back into the scene, and it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. So uh-huh. at first, people thought like, uh, "This is this is you know this is shammy. This is this is this is on some scam shit." Like uh-huh. they just want to be back in the you know in a lot. Well, he just want to be back in the line, like because we don't we don't see him like that. Right. But then we start getting into it, and you start reading the facts, and you start actually they didn't people don't actually seen this video or whatever happened whatever have you um it start looking it start looking crazy but my thing is what would be the point of you what would be like why would you first of all i don't know if you got something like that going on in the back end right you know you know in the back of your mind you done did some stuff like this and you're attacking other people why 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 because now that puts you that that puts you in the spotlight of if I do something wrong, somebody gonna come back and they gonna do this. I mean, but it Somebody just somebody had leverage on right. it. Yes, no. it didn't look right. Um, um, so, yeah, it didn't. And someone definitely had leverage, but you know, I uh, he's when I've seen his comedy, he's always done like impressions. Um, mm-hmm. I, I haven't really seen him on a really huge platform besides like a podcast or people said he was on. I just didn't understand the attacking. Like what was you calling this lady fat for black, yeah. fat, um, all this other stuff. And it's like your skin, your skin looking just as the nigga look half dead. You got all this going on around here. You got all this going on around here, up in here. Like, come on. I mean, what was the point of that? Like, what was he getting out of? Oh, she's fat. She's this, she's that. Like, what was the right. point? Of and, that? and what I've learned through thinking. life is, People who usually attack others, it's usually they got something going on with mm-hmm. themselves. So mm-hmm. it's usually something internal there. It's just like you know when people bully. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're usually not happy with something with themselves. But for him to be, you know, a grown man and and you know the age that he's and he said what he did 32 years. Yeah, like okay, I just, what, what have you done in those 32 years? Have you grown? I, right, <laughs> you ain't grown. Old, you fell out. <laughs> Lizzo, you know, she may have a certain amount of years prior to us knowing her, you know, work obviously because mm-hmm. of her skill and everything she does and her talent. But what I'm saying is like she's consistent. Right. That's what I right. appreciate right. her. She's been consistently um, and no no disrespect to her. No disrespect to her, but she's been consistently fat. <laughs> and she's, she's consistently, consistently who she is. Her, she's consistently yeah. pushed the fact that I'm fat and I'm big and I'm beautiful though, too. All right. You see what I'm saying? She consistently, I mean, like I her think, her music has been pushed t- more towards that. That's like her brand. So true. she's been consistent with that. She's been consistently just in our faces. She's mm-hmm. been consistent. Shit. When she went to Cardi B on her track, she consistently chased her ass down too. What I find she interesting is that you say all this about this woman, but if this same mm-hmm. woman went and got X, Y, and Z done to herself, then people would still be Then people would say that. that. Yeah, so you, you never. It's never a happiness when it. Oh. I, to me, I feel like this when it comes to, and I'm just gonna call a spade a spade. But when mm-hmm. it comes to black women in general, we get a lot of flack, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? If it was, um, I feel like they that shit. If it was a a fat white woman, they'd be more comfortable with that versus it being a fat black woman. It's just something to attack. It, I feel like it's always something to attack the black woman about, just like the wigs. The wig situation, but do we ever hear about the Kardashians and all them coming coming with their wigs? Because they definitely wear them. You know what I'm saying? We don't never see them in the uh, uh, in the blogs and shit like that for their little wigs and all the stuff that they do that they take from us. Well, we're we're criticized. Yeah, we're definitely criticized. But it's crazy because they get the praise for the stuff. Uh For the same thing that they criticize us we're for. We're taking right? it from us. So, so I don't know. Yeah, but, you know, no disrespect to like Adele. You know, mm-hmm. she's a she's a heavier I like woman. Adele too. I love her. She has a beautiful voice. She's talented. She's a she's a um, a, a, I would say a heavier size. You know, bigger woman. Well, she but got she that. Uh, I think she, she got. I think she got that surgery yeah. done though now or something. Yeah, or she lost a lot of weight. Her, her weight has changed, but, right? But yeah, when her weight like, was goddamn. still when she was bigger, people still went to the concert. People still uh still had her. I think she still had her a black man at that point. <laughs> and now she's with a gentleman and you know what I mean? She went through a lot of heartbreak. So, you know, people I think people need to focus on the action. Focus right. On the action. Now, as far as Eric Spears after that, what I think happened is by him attacking Lizzo or, you know, trying to criticize her um on that level. I think that 
maybe there was a team put in place or there already is a team put in place. Like, you know how back in the day how they had the labels and you all were part of that quote unquote family familiar? If you was on right. the label, it's a possibility. Maybe whatever team she's with, maybe it was a hey, we got to come out, <laughs> support our girl. And then maybe someone yeah. had access to this skit. <laughs> mm-hmm. because, um, you know, unfortunately, Tiffany Haddish, I, I feel like she's, um, what do you call that, like collateral damage? Or she's kind of like attached because she's in it. Like, I feel like if he was in, in that skit with anybody, that it would be the same thing. You said, th- uh, you think so? Yeah, like, I, I feel <laughs> like, I mean, it's worse that it's, it's terrible that she's in it. But I think <laughs> that she's getting pulled into this because of she's in that skit with him. I think originally well, it was originally for him. You think it was for both? Yeah, I think it was originally for him, but but you know what? She's she getting what she deserves. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to say that yeah, because you know why? Because I feel like Tiffany's, first of all, where the fuck she come from? Let's just start there. If we look at the best, <laughs> right. Um, because so she's she, constantly saying she's from the hood of Cali, somewhere in, in LA, but nobody knows this chick. Nobody knows her. Then she comes up out of nowhere. She says she was sleeping in her car. She was getting money from uh, uh, Kevin Hart. Um, Kevin Hart helped her to get on her feet and stuff like that. But what I what I started to realize too with these celebrities is like it's almost like they gotta it's almost like they gotta do something. They either gotta like be 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 messing around with each other or um do something with kids the pedo the pedoness in um hollywood it's like a level up for them and almost like initiation or something yeah right like an initiation like like the illuminati shit that they'd be like oh illuminati we don't even know it. they always say we don't know what that is well what is the illuminati what is the Illum-? they know what the fuck is going on it seems like to me it's it's almost <laughs> it's like uh uh what do you call it when in college when they all like they do the 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 um, oh um when you get hazed or when yeah and it's like you got to do this to be down or you got to do that to be down that's what it all reminds me of and it all reminds me it's all under the same hats like yeah that's that's um, a strong possibility oh you know what let me pull this up and see if i can like all right now let's go to this video and let's okay there we go all right, so this video, um, so the brat, her response. First of all, the brat was, um, she always in a mix of some shit. When it comes to, it seems like she only speaks out when it comes to this pedo shit. It, it, it's never to help, uh, never to speak on behalf of the kids. It always seems like it's against the kids. So I wanted to pull her up because I ain't forgot about what was going on with BB Judy, her girlfriend, mm-hmm. and um, was, look, um, oh okay, so. I wanted to pull up what she said and what's going on with her, um, with this whole Tiffany at Tiffany Haddish and Ari stuff. So let's jump into that real quick. Okay. Nation Bell subscribers, you have it's, already, it's not. Shout I, they you always from. in the in the in the, in the cycle for something. The yeah. All these celebrities, it seems like I, they I don't stop. Chicago, that, that, that fame is the drug. What's the drug? Arizona. See, it's the, she, what I think. I'll be thinking like the fame and attention. Like, like playing you think it's for the attention? Fame and attention because yeah. it keeps them in the, you know, in the light. Keeps you in the light. Keeps mm-hmm. you in the light. Ammo. It's crazy. Because when ain't nobody talking about you, that's when people be like, Because imagine all about them. A person like it's Tiffany right. Haddish would do you know, for no. just a little bit of attention and fame. I, I mean, yeah. I wouldn't put it past. Just because she Dang. didn't have shit. Yeah, yeah. how the hell keep San some, Diego? Keep them in the news, that's for sure. Shout out to Germany, man. Mars. Wow. Philly in here. No, they okay. didn't say Mars. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck is Mars? What are you talking about? What they up? stupid. Ohio, They're talking about up? Mars. <laughs> We gonna get into this article. They, okay. It was in poor taste, but they don't believe any actual abuse took place. Yeah. Why not? Mm. So the brat defense Tiffany had it. I don't see why not. Black Twitter is going in on the brat for defending stand up comedians. I think they just Haddish trying to keep the Harry lid on Spears against child abuse allegations. It's the lead. Twenty two year old woman filed a lawsuit against the comics on Tuesday on behalf of her fifteen year old brother. The plaintiffs who are identified as Jane Doe, they still don't got their names yet. 
Oh. Jane Doe and John Doe in a complaint oh, accused Haddish and Spears of making them perform sexual acts in oh, several a young boy video skits. Yeah, without their mother's knowledge or approval. I don't understand how the mother ain't, ain't know about any of this. That I, I, I'm still hard to believe. Well, I, I, think to she believe. Did, I think she did know about it, but you know what I'm saying? It's one of those things where she probably is trying to get a lawyer to pursue this shit the whole time and then wasn't really getting no getting nowhere with it because it wasn't no because they been saying it's like it wasn't no child abuse of all but they was doing the skit it was they getting the skit you know what i'm saying the skit still was done in poor taste you know what i'm saying so i i don't know what the why even the get a child to do like, any of that in the first place like i you know mean what I'm saying? like if it wasn't why like would you use a child DJ to do that anyway? wall, but they did the skit and i don't know how that you know what i'm saying how that works out far as on the law or whatever you know what I'm saying? Well, the brat says, I don't believe it. She said that on uh on Friday on Ricky Smiley's morning show. Hmm. She said they're trying to tarnish their image for some reason. I can't see Tiffany Haddish do. I can't even see Ari Sperry's doing something like this. They know what they have to lose. They know what they like have the to uncle lose. That this did the crazy. uncle that did the I hope uncle that I'm right. That this is some crazy blogger. <laughs> he looked like life. the kind. They which means I can't even see him. Go away. Clearly, clearly, the brat didn't view the disturbing video. Clearly. Of course, she did not see the video yet to be saying that. Well, shit, I didn't either. But uh, I don't know if she's seen it as of now. But mm, yeah, I'm gonna play the clip. I'm gonna play the clip. So the in clip. case y'all missed it, run the clip. The clip. <laughs> Allegations they get more disturbing. Now, in the suit, uh, Jane Doe is claiming that her younger brother was seven at the time when Haddish brought him to a home with Aerie Spears, and they both, like I said, molested him during the filming of a funny or die video titled Through the Eyes of a Pedophile. What? No, no I'm, I'm with you, Brad. I don't. Yo, we don't got pro. <laughs> we don't got pro, yo. I don't believe it. I don't they're trying, yeah, they trying to tarnish their image for some reason. Yeah, oh. I can't see Tiffany Haddish. Oh. I even can't even see Aries Spears doing something like that. Oh. They know what they have to lose. This is crazy. I I hope that I'm right. That this is some crazy blogger with, with no life well, and some attention. And this is going to go away because this is absolutely insane. Why would they lose their careers and risk it all? But wait, uh, Brad, there's even more to it because I heard, well, I actually read on TMZ that the people that are suing they had several attorneys that um yeah many attorneys that decided they didn't want to take the case anymore and then they tried to settle for fifteen thousand dollars so i'm i'm thinking the brat haven't seen a clip yet before this was released you clearly not yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm itching to see what the what the next show they do if she's going to recant what she said and and mentioned that she's seen it right. or heard about so it. That's or, that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to jump off of that and go to our next video. But what I want to say is um, the Brad, I don't think the Brad, I think even if she did see the shit, I don't think, I think the Brad going to stand her ground with that. Only because she she didn't even give a damn about her own girlfriend going through whatever she was going through with little Jane. So yeah, we're gonna put that up too. This is what you you said. Okay, this is about her being in Greece and shit. Chad, she was out there chilling. She won't worry about nothing. That. <laughs> she was she won't she won't worry about she said she won't worry about nothing that. <laughs> I don't care about that. that. Tiffany Haddish shows off her Terrible. display while vacationing in Greece. Makona, Makona, like, Villa Collection. Mm -mm. And I wanted to show y'all this breakfast that we have now. It's fire. It's so good. Look, look, this is how they said it. It's, uh, it's self serve. And you come over here. Like, anyways, they got, you gotta get the pineapple. Which was my lady? Oh, I should try some. She said this like this good. was the main event at the, the hotel. <laughs> All of that. Look, about all that. They look real fresh. Right? <laughs> or I'm just hungry. It's, it's you know it's middle of the night. I'm hungry. So what else she did? Cucumber. Uh, but she just so dragging. Pretty it. somebody out there. She dragging it. Got in. Look it. 
She's trying to test everybody's temperature. But this is crazy because it's like, okay, you ain't hear about these allegations, ma'am. Look at that. Ma'am, you out here talking about, okay. And we talking about, look at you. That agent calls you. That's a yacht. You talk about look at you. You talk about that's a yacht, bitch. Now the island itself looks clearly like you just ignoring the, the damn allegations and shit. You but just you just though. she just said, let me just show y'all so, this. Like we can talk about that, bitch. What about these allegations? Um, stuff? This all <laughs> that's where all right, so Ooh, it's sexy. All right, so in case you missed it, like he said, this is what she's doing. She all around this hotel. She just showing out. She over in what is this Cancun? Wherever the fuck she's at, child. Upstairs and downstairs. She's just showing off her stuff. What she's spending? Right? Didn't that look like his ashy ass ankles? Yeah. Wouldn't that be so? It did look like it. They were like, yo, they out together. Too old for this shit. She do something with that head. I'm, I'm hey. a look terrible on her. Oh no! Where did this? Who the fuck am I? Show you some more of this hotel. Sit and talk. This is what she. This is what she get into it. Hey. How about she spare some of that money that she's spending at that hotel with the kids that saying that she did whatever she did to him. But you know those um when they you know the allegations that's being put out. I, I I mean I think it'd be in her best interest to share some of this money she's spending at this trip. Some serious allegations. Yeah. Right. She out here drinking and worried about this one. She got some allegations that might put her in jail to like R. Kelly. What's wrong with you, child? Mm-mm. This is gorgeous. That's that um being used to sleeping in that car stuff. So pretty. <laughs> you know how to act now. She turned it up. Oh, they got books I can't. I don't I, see for me is she's trying to deflect for me. Yeah, it's like let me do this over the here. Second, she's trying oh. to like read the temperature. She she's trying to test she, it out. Yep, she reads her temperature. The next destination. But you know, people wouldn't go forget about that shit. Tiffany, we don't care about that. What about these allegations? <laughs> Ma- ma'am, come back to come back to Earth. What about the allegations, bro? I just need to do stuff like, <laughs> like that every my nigga. At least two, three times. You want this? We worried about no, what's going on. Oh. You all right? Some kids all right? Three times a year. Like, That's the promise I'm gonna make to myself. Take let's talk about three times a year. Three Listen, times a year. So three payments. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, you gonna have to sign in. But they didn't say they said fifteen thousand. I mean, baby. Do you know? Oh, y'all probably already have. This is probably less than fifteen thousand. Where she at right now? Talk you talk about fifteen thousand. Nah, now. that ain't enough, man. She got places to go Get and things those. to do, huh? Get she forgot about those. the allegations, though. That's a part of them places Somebody to go. The places to go is jail. Home. She in places showing off what she got. Showing off her money. Well, since she's showing off her money, though, she could definitely pay for these allegations, though, since uh, she want to do that. But uh, the next video I got here is um, Tiffany Haddish finally speaks out. So now, apparently, she wants to pay some some mind to these allegations. I would hope she does, or else she won't be traveling like that no more, probably. Um, let's pull that video up and see what, what's, what's, what's hitting for what, what it's talking about. Won't go into that. Peace, love, and hair grease, Curry Gang. It's your boy, JR. Yeah, I already know. One. Comedian, actress, Tiffany Haddish finally network. speaks out after being accused she of sex. She looks stressed to me. Right along with Harry Spears. She look what? Well, as you know, it's 2013. Definitely. Through the eyes you know how to unknown? Tiffany Haddish and Harry Spears. You see, can I spit? Why she do it right after I do? She <laughs> yeah, she look a little under the eye. Instagram in the post saying, "I know people have a bunch of questions, and I get it. I'm right with you. Unfortunately, because there's an ongoing legal case, there's very little I can say right now. But clearly, while the sketch was intended to be comedic, it wasn't funny at all, and mm-hmm. I deeply regret having agreed to act in it." I really look forward to being able to share a lot more about this situation as soon as I can. How did Tiffany Haddish, how was Tiffany Haddish collateral damage? Well, we were saying that she was collateral damage because 
if this was just about Aries Spears, that's what, mm-hmm. I said. Mm-hmm. what he said about Lizzo, this is just if we're not saying this is fact. We saying if this all came out because of what uh, Aries Spears said about Lizzo, mm-hmm. that would make Tiffany Haddish uh, thrown in the mix. Collateral yeah, damage. Collateral damage. It wasn't yeah. originally about Tiffany Haddish. It was more so about putting Aries Spears out there. But you see how but God Tiffany worked? Haddish just happened to do that skit with Aries Spears. See how God worked? Because it wasn't but about that's her. Why but we said that, is it possible she did what she Tiffany did too. Haddish could have just been collateral damage uh-huh. for the shit that. Uh, Harry Spears said about this, so because I find it, I don't give, I don't give, I don't give a fuck what nobody said. I find it mad suspicious that this nigga go viral for talking about Lizzo. Wait, and then not then, and then, they, and then the a couple days later, right. they digging up a skit he did nine years ago when this nigga wasn't relevant nowhere. Right, right. that's what I was saying. This nigga was out of sight, so, out of mind. So they both okay. So all right. That's y'all for that full video, y'all can go to Night and Day Network and finish the video there. But we're not going to play. Shout out to them with all the references. This is um, Gossip Girl. So I wanted to pull it up because she jumped right into it. But um, yeah, if y'all want to see the full the full interview, but um, well, not interview, their commentary, Night and Day Network. You can go to Night and Day Network and see the rest of that video that we just had pulled up. But we're going to jump into the next one. Um, I want you to see um, the Gossip Girl one where she talks about um, the brat defending Tiffany Haddish and them too. Uh, we just going to get a, a quick look into this. Let me, on the Ricky Smiley show, let me tell y'all what she's doing. The brat defends Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears. She says, <laughs> I don't believe it. Mm, so there's a part about? in here where she she gonna says say this, that and I believe she was talking about me. She I defended was the Kelly. First, the Brett basically are saying those kids are lying on Aries Spears and Tiffany Haddish without any facts or any information. Taking up for celebs just because you are one it's, video okay, here of we go. Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears doing things to the children. How can a Brett sit there and deny that? Black people get on my nerves. Black people love protecting the petties, just like the video evidence of R. Kelly and doing the same shit. She just basically says the brat the de- um defended R. Kelly too. One more video, but go ahead. I just um yeah, I, I just- was gonna say that there are certain situations where people have turned the blind eye. However, I haven't really like the the the, the R. Kelly situation that take from back in the day. I don't know about you, but we were, you know, we were young. And mm-hmm. from what I recall, it wasn't as accessible. Like everybody didn't have access to that. And I, I think it even went on sale. It was like a, uh, like an underground type of DVD or. Uh, I think, I think, well, shit, I think it was kind of actually more us or something. Um, I remember shit. I remember when we was in high school, I remember other motherfuckers in high school saying they seen the shit. Yeah, I don't remember, I like, but, but they yeah. had to dig for it. <clears throat> they may have, but so I, well, I just thought I that like, that was even crazy that other motherfuckers, like as young as we was, to be able to see it. You know what right. I'm saying? But was it? I was like, damn. See, because I don't, see, I didn't see it, but I'm like, I don't remember. No. I don't remember how clear it was that who the person was he was peeing on, you know, or allegedly, um, you know, showering on showering and golden shower and all that. So, but this right here is like, it's clear. Clear as day. See, I don't... Well, you know what? I did... Okay, no. I'm going to say this. I didn't see the R. Kelly video, but what I did see was um, people had screenshotted, like, when it was him, where you could see... I guess it I guess it, it might have been in court or something, but mm-hmm. they could. you could clearly see it was R. You could clearly see it was R. Kelly. I, like, there's you no way around it. Yeah, you could see yeah. his braids. You could braids. see when he turned and uh-huh. stuff like that. Yeah, you could see. Now... I, I couldn't really tell. Like, I mean, I think they had it blurred out or it something. It was blurred, yeah. I think it was like blurred over the little girl's face, of course. Mm-hmm. But like, um, they didn't even show. I could. I don't know. I didn't watch it like that. I just know right. I seen or account. I seen a little clip, and I see a little person that's right bigger than this him. Hit, this hit platforms and major platforms. So you all you had to do was do a click. Yeah, I think and I caught the fact this. that it's a skit. <laughs> I think I caught them on 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 news news reports. 
or or something like that. Like I seen when you hit um, the major platforms, it, yeah. Yeah, they was on like Hollywood Access and all that other stuff, man. It was all over the place for this one. But um one of this. Who's this now? Uh, this one, I just wanted to pull up real quick because I wanted to pull up on the brat. What up, the brat? Anyway, listen. <laughs> <laughs> because I felt like, how do you up here defending all these panels? But you know what? Then I thought about it again. You don't care anyway. You don't care about kids. <laughs> Hold on. You don't care about kids. I'm going to have to come back. Have any kids? Um, no, but you know what? They were saying that her and BB Judy, her and BB Judy is now having, she, you know, she's in a, a like a lesbian relationship or whatever. I, um, I think they're in a marriage, right? They got married? Yeah. Yeah, they got married. Yeah. So I wanted to bring up the fact because you don't care anyway. You don't, you don't, you don't really care anyway because it's kids. <laughs> you know, where I'm at with it is, y'all just, first of all, y'all just take advantage of anybody in the industry. That's where I'm at with it. I don't know. That's why I felt like when I hear other motherfuckers talk about they trying to get put on, they trying to this, they trying to that, they still trying to get into this industry and they hear all this shit that's going on. It's no point in all that. I tell them, just, just do you. It's like, it's so much stuff out here now for them to be able to do, like, to push their own shit. It's no reason to have to go through a label industry, right? Where you're, you're basically only borrowing the money anyway. Like it's not your it's you sign in a contract, you get put on for a meal or whatever your little contract is for. But nigga, they own you until you I, I'm going to need this bread like they they going off of the fact that, all right, this person is big right now. And we're we're hoping they make they flip this money. But if they don't, you're owned your own. You might as well do your own thing. So anyway, with all that being said, I just felt like okay. the industry be using people. But um, apparently. I don't know if y'all remember the little James Tucker, um, the little boy that just went viral all over the place on, um, on uh, the social media. Like little skits with like his mom that. or something, yeah, he right? To, yeah, he used to do little skits and stuff. But basically, um, he was like in a contract with the brat at first, and then the brat's girlfriend, BB Judy, took over the contract and signed them. But they pretty much. It's like the contract was all messed up. They wasn't getting paid nothing. The mom didn't get paid nothing from them. So basically, BB Judy's been using these kids and putting them in front of her brand, her little Kaleidoscope's brand, and like especially the little girls with the hair and stuff. And she gets the she she got them working nonstop. I don't even think the kids could sleep. Okay, you, you, they don't get it. They don't get a ten minute break. No none of that. No lunch break. No none of that. I want you putting the drops in their hair every twenty four seven. And recording every bit, every move they make. Okay. So that's what BB Judy was doing. And she was not paying them. Okay. And they don't even get a box lunch. Remember the box lunch? Girl, girl no. No free, no, 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 none Damn. of that. <laughs> no, none of that. Oh, no. We ain't got a lunch break room. Okay. You do that somewhere else. You, matter of fact, you don't got a break. Okay. So Ooh. that's what was happening with that. And um, basically, they scammed them out of some money. And, and little, little James was a big deal. They used that little boy. So, um, yeah, we're going to jump into that. Let me see. Shaky one. Chair. Okay. The other one real quick first, because this one is quick. But this is from somebody named, um, where is Gucci Man? Her YouTube. But she explained a little bit real quick about what happened. A few years ago. I was unaware like the whole BB Judy two percent. I started hearing about him through Instagram. BB Judy was supposedly having the um hair uh oil that grew your hair back. Super Sam was selling makeup. Both of them, I believe, were from New Orleans. And they started bubbling. Super Sam had that crayon case. Then people started trying to expose BB Judy and she was getting her products from Alibaba. Um nevertheless. Something unfortunate happened two years ago, and I just wanted to do a video about it because as I scroll through the internet, I don't see any videos about it. Like, let me show you guys. Not that right there. Let me put it there. Let me. It's you know, they be um, covering up certain certain shit they don't want to be found. That's the weird thing about it. Like. They be high in certain information. When I put in BB Judy or I put in uh, Child Drowning or Jessica Dupart, whatever, nothing really comes up. 
it comes up different other child drownings, but not the fact that a child drowned in her home, if you guys weren't aware. So I'm going to go ahead and go to, I think, my page. Okay. So this is from September 9th, 9th, 2019. So this was two years ago. I remember I tried to comment under her stuff. She blocked me. She blocked me when I said something about this. Her mom was doing BB Judy makeup. Judy's one of Super Sent friends. And Judy assistant was supposed to be watching the child while her mom did Judy makeup. And allegedly the child dropped while the assistant was supposed to be watching her. Rip to this baby and parent. Oh, yeah, I just was telling people don't let your kids go on water if you're not going to be there and stuff like that. So then, Judy had started putting up, like, this is from September 9th, 2019, putting up fake videos. Mother, they uploaded this September 9th. But she was kind of trying to fake cry. You know how we always catch them in the fake cry, no tears, recording themselves trying to cry. <laughs> like, oh, right. oh, what do I do? Oh, no. And ever since then, I knew this one sister's going to be moving up. Sort of like a sacrifice. Right. This is one I knew. So that's that. Now, B.B. Judy is in a relationship with the brat. This is why I say I don't think the brat gives a gives a damn mm-hmm. about what's going on with any of these kids because apparently the brat um, she was in she had um, little James in a contract with her at first and somehow little James ends up in a contract with B.B. Judy and her and um, they showed the contract and stuff like that. And I remember seeing it and the contract was bullshit. They wasn't getting paid. Now, this is MC Shaky when he was doing it and, and bringing all this to awareness long ago. He'd been saying this for a long time, but basically <clears throat> he comes to the families and the parents tell exactly what's going on and the fact that they're not getting paid and what they was making these kids do. All right. So anyway, um, so in, in this video, MC Shaky talks to the to the to the parents about um, BB Judy and being in contract with them and all this stuff about what happened with that. So being at um, the brat never even like addressed these allegations and things like that. When her name popped up in this whole, she's defending R. Kelly. She's defending um, uh, um, goodness, Ari Spears and um, Tiffany Haddish. I'm not surprised because look at her wife. Look at what her wife has done and all the shit that they did with little James and all these other little kids. And they used them and they didn't do nothing for them. They did nothing for them. And um, they didn't care about this. So the fact that she didn't care about that. And I mean, it, it just goes to show your character. You marry somebody that's like that. You like that. And then you turn around and you're defending pedals. Like, I don't, I mean, I see the correlation. So let's uh, listen to what they got to say. They up front knowing your drastic position. I think they're taking advantage of you, and I think that can constitute forcing. I do. You sold me a dream. You use your, you use your, you use your, you use your clout. Mm-hmm. You use your notoriety, and, and for, for, for the, for the, for, for bang, for bang. Manipulation is the key word I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Manipulation. She'll be put shake it. That has a hand. That part. So let me um add. I need to add. Let me do this thing live. See, I'm actually adding. I don't know if she's in here. She might be in. I'm actually finna add. I sent it a lot. I don't know if she. Send me a um. If, she, if you are here, let's see how girl. Send me a. No, she's not here. Send me a request. Are we talk on it? We deal each other. I know. <laughs> uh, but it's good to finally uh, talk to you on the live. And welcome to Address the Mess with Shaking. So Wait. give us, if you can, give us a brief rundown on how you first came in contact with the Kaleidoscope kids. Tell us a little bit about your child and, 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 and what they actually do. Okay, my daughter is Cyan. 
She's okay. the oldest of the, was the oldest of the Collado kids. She was 11. Um, we got chosen the first round. Okay. And we advertised for almost a month and never heard from nobody. None of the parents did. We were all in a group together. Um, when the little girl Andy had passed away, uh, one of the my daughter did a rap uh, contribute to the girl, and so Judy liked it. And from that that day forth, one of the parents added the Kaleido page and Judy in there. So it was almost like we kind of like had to force them to get their attention because. They hadn't reached out to nobody, giving us no products or anything. So when um, you was, what, 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 so when you was, so you were selected from the first round. So you were yes. the original. You are the one of the yes. original kaleidoscope models. Yes. For this. yes. And so y'all got in a group together and formed co- sort of like a camaraderie yes. between yourself and the other mothers, even though Julie and them had not been a part of the group or anything no. at no time. No. And so, and so when the baby passed away, uh-huh. law wrestler. Your daughter was actually the one that made the rap about it because your daughter is also a musician as well. Yes, she's a gospel rapper. Yep. There you go. Yes. All right, continue. I'm so sorry for bringing Oh, uh, It's okay. You're, you're good. Um, All right. And then from that point on, everybody, she got in the group. Everybody was like, hey, what's up? We ready to work? We ready to work? So that's when we did the conference call. On that call, we were told that um, she was like the gateway to connect us to jobs. Uh, if an opportunity came about, she would you know, help us with that opportunity. My daughter did get an opportunity. I won't announce the name, but it was by a rapper, a well-known rapper. Um, They came at my, in my DM, we actually talked on the phone. She wanted to do some songs with my daughter and I let Judy know that, but it was a no-go pretty much. It was like she blew it off. Um, So so Judy did not allow your precious daughter to go and work with another brand, a complete mother. At this point, can I show um a few photos of your daughter with your parents? Yes, you may. She is beautiful. I just I was gonna say she's a beautiful chocolate little baby. I want to paint them cheeks. I swear to God, that's her. She's so cute. And y'all can see. I don't want to show the other like. I don't even show it now. And she um and so she's very 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 pretty beautiful little girl. I swear to God. Look, at, don't y'all just want to paint some cheeks? I just want to show you the baby. This is <laughs> the baby. This is who. <laughs> this is who. Okay, so they at cry. what point? At any given time. So you said y'all never got no. So when she then Judy and Big get in the group, what happened after that? Um, basically, like I said, it was a bunch of I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Uh, one thing in particular, like I said, um, was she was gonna get all the kids together in December. Well, my daughter's birthday is on Christmas, so and my daughter heard everything. Like I said, she's 11, so yeah. she she was on speakerphone. She was excited to meet all the Colado kids. Um, but she did not do that as well. Uh. We end up quitting actually uh, because of we were just kind of taught about buying products. We had asked several times, um, what, "Can we get products?" And it was right. always no. When the kid line drops, when the kid line drops, then you can get products. So we paid for products for months and spent lots of money for months. So she, so not only did she not send y'all any products, not only did she one box, she said not, one box, and it didn't have all the products. Oh my God. But you but you saying so she was still on the other side. So um, you were still buying products. I- so I'm gonna place that um I'm gonna place the links to these 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 interviews and stuff in the chat. But um everything everything that happened with these um with these kids, in other words, basically Judy duped them all. Um hold on, okay. So basically, the Brad's girlfriend, BB Judy, duped all them kids, had them buying all the products, had them doing all this stuff. For, basically, for them, had the parents working in her her uh, you know, where all the the big kaleidoscopes, like um, you know how they make um all the products in a in a warehouse. Warehouse. Yes, had the parents had the parents working in a warehouse, um. And pretty much working for her, like for free, pretty much for free. <laughs> now, um, the brat came in because, like I said, she was originally she was in contract with Little James. She had Little James on her contract at first somehow. Then BB Judy gets connected, and it's like they had them in a like a, a simultaneous contract with both of them. So he was getting money off of these kids and stuff like that, but they weren't they weren't paying them nothing. You see, the mom said they weren't even going to give them products. Like they had to pay for the product. So for months, that's what they was doing, um, and they wasn't paying them for nothing that they were doing. But um, 
I just wanted to bring that up because a lot of people didn't hear about that either. And that's not, it's not like, it's not talked about or brought out, but in the industry, it seems like they're all okay with, it's like people in the industry are okay with like getting over on these kids, using these kids for whatever fetish they want to do or whatever it is, whatever it is they want to get out of them. And mm-hmm. um, the whole thing with the mom, like leaving the kids with, uh, um, Tiffany Haddish mm-hmm. what I can say about that is because being in a you know I done did the 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 um what was it when I was younger acting modeling classes the damn mm-hmm. dance classes all that stuff it's kind of like taking your kid to camp where it's kind of like taking your kid to um like when you got when you got after after school activities and sports and stuff right uh-huh. they like Pretty much you you go, you take your kid, you drop them off. They have practice. You come back and you pick them up. Same difference, right? So, because I, I hear a lot of people like kind of jumping on that mom's case about, well, why you leave your kid or why you do this? Why you do that? When in, in the industry, that's kind of how it goes. You go to your acting classes. You go to your classes. It's almost like taking a, a class. I get it. You probably shouldn't leave your kid with everybody. You don't want to trust everybody. Now, casting call or something like that. I mean, it, it's like a when we hear about all this stuff happening to these kids, a lot of times it's the normal shit. It's like it's the normal, it's the norm. Like, you know, you go drop them off. I mean, a lot of times they can wait out in the hallway or whatever the case may be. You're still there with your kid, but a lot of times they don't. It's like, like I said, it's like um, going to after school activities. It's like going to football practice. It's like going to cheerleading. It's like you know, you drop, normally parents drop the kids off, they go back and get them after their practice. It's like that. So, uh, I could see where it can happen. You know what I'm saying? But I think now it's worse than how it used to be back in the day, though. Is the thing. Like, I don't think, I don't think it was as bad as it was back. Like, I don't think, I don't think it was as bad as it was. I don't think it was bad back then versus now. Like, now yeah. you're hearing about this person uh, done did this to this kid. This person done did that. You're hearing it too much now. For right. it to be like, okay, well, I'm gonna just go drop my kid off at this this casting call, or I'll drop my kid off at this um, at acting classes and come back and get them. No, at this point, you can't even you can't do that now. Like, <coughs> much, it's too much being said and done. So, I, I mean, I just wanted to say that because I, I did hear people saying that, but I've been in acting classes and stuff like that, and you're they really don't. A lot of times the real casting calls and the real casting people, they don't want your parents there because they want you to come out of your shell Mm -hmm. and you to just act. I've never been in a place where it's been, I've seen like somebody do something or did something out of the whack or nothing's ever been done. But, you know, that's usually the real reason. But now that puts it, it makes it easier if somebody's not on the up and up and Mm -hmm. they're, or a pedo and they're in that field it's easy for them to be like oh yeah leave your kid here da, da, da. now it's easy for them to act out you see what i'm saying but um yeah tiffany haddish i could see her doing this because she comes from nothing she ain't trying to go back to nothing so to me this is a easy this is this is like a, a do or die it's a must for her like anything that's presented to her i feel like she's gonna be with it i think uh for me, uh, so as far as the mom's concerned and, and the whole situation, I mean, like I've said, I've seen the skit and uh, it was it was so much for me to just digest to the Look point where it. I couldn't even finish watching it. I was scared and to look at it. I kept hearing people say that and I would like refuse to look at it because I'm like, damn. Because you can t- see, see, here's that. the issue I have with it. With the skits, you, you can, can tell, tell what they're insinuating. Mm-hmm. And you also can tell that the kids don't really understand what they're doing. They just know what they're being told. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, it, like not to be disgusting or anything, but you can pretty much get a kid to eat almost anything really without telling them what it is, right? right. We, we can introduce the candy and stuff with people around us. But but if we got introduced to it, you couldn't get us to do that like that. Right. We, you couldn't get us to eat in our generation, talk, and all this other stuff, right? This, this, and, and that. If we, if we never knew what something was, right? 
mm-hmm. and we just got taught, hey, this is how you eat this, this is why you eat this, blah, blah, blah. We would just eat it. We would just do it. But no yeah. questions asked. You right. know what I'm saying? So I feel like, I mean, I feel like, but when I, from what I've seen, I think that they were taught how to do those roles. The mm-hmm. problem I have with that is, yeah, you're saying that you're putting out these skits because the whole goal and the whole reasoning of putting out the skit was because it was supposed to bring light to a mind of a pedophile. And it was supposed to be about watch who your kids are with. Well, I think they However, just it up a little bit. I feel like there has been um, like other shows, like not even shows, more so movies where you may you can tell that a character may have been the R word, but they mm-hmm. didn't really show the act. You mm-hmm. can see the effects of it later. Right. Or when they got bullied in school, you know what I'm saying? So they left the major parts out. This skit went too far. Right. And not only did it go too far, they didn't need children actors. You didn't need a right. child actor for that. Right. You could have an adult right. that was playing as a kid. There was right. other solutions. There was other ways to get the message out. Um, as far as the mother goes, I'm not a mom, so it's hard for me to really speak on it. But I will say, you do have to be careful on when you're. Shit, I am, and I ain't leaving my kids in this day and age. Not, right. not See, she, in a place like that. From what they're saying, care about her name so much is, of what's going on. From, from what I got from Hollywood Unlocked, and um, I think it was Carcino for Life or something. I, Usually watch his channel. I don't know how to pronounce his word, his name, but uh, from what I, I know who it is, I never. Oh, are you talking about Carlos? No, no not Carlos. Carlos. For life, I think. I, think his name I, is I never heard of that. And I, then Hollywood Unlocked. They both, yeah. they're both bloggers. Or, um, they're like a platform. Hollywood Unlocked is more like a, a platform for, or the brand behind the block. So I forget Jason, Jason mm-hmm. Lee. Yeah, mm-hmm. so he works for them. But then the other blogger, Carcino for Life, I seen also. They were saying that the mom's name is Triza Morris, Triza Morris, T R I Z A H Morris. Mm-hmm. So apparently, her and Tiffany had a relationship, like a friendship. Right, a friendship. Right, I heard that. So too. I think that she had built a friendship with her oh, okay. and trusted her. Mm-hmm. But what I will say is, you still got to be careful because when you don't know, like they said, you got to know someone's all their seasons. You have to know their intentions. Right. People have motives. Yeah. Here's the real question. If you ask Tiffany Haddish, would you do that to your kids? If she if she if you ask her that, would she do that to her kids? That's the real question. Because it wasn't so much that the that the kids were auditioning or having a casting call. It was the it was the activities that they were doing. It was the role that they were playing. Yeah. So they're saying that these kids are suffering now from social disorder. That's yeah, because the, the the boy is saying he don't even he he's been covering up his camera with um, band aids. Um, he doesn't trust anybody. He don't want to even be around adults because he don't trust adults. Um, shit, he don't want to. He 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 feels uncomfortable mm-hmm. being even looked at. Um, he's closed off. I mean. That's the, like all that is is true signs of something. Like regardless of if, if people want to believe that or not, that's not normal. That alone ain't, ain't, isn't normal. You had to have been through some type of trauma for something yeah. like that to go on. I mean, everybody deals with everything different. Everybody takes stuff differently. You know what I'm saying? So you can't expect somebody to deal with trauma, hurt, and pain like you would. Because right. everybody's different. The the things that you do in your life is not going to be the same as the next person doing it because it's not you. It's not you. So, you know, I, I just I hate the fact that, you know, it's being questioned whether whether they're really, you know, I mean, I get it. We're in an era where it's like it seems like everybody's just coming out about something. Mm-hmm. But maybe we're in that era because now people are starting to see like we really need to speak up and people are getting more comfortable because more people are coming out right. you know um if somebody I mean, I think, type of thing and yeah you i mean <sighs> i think the kids probably are suffering from it i think they probably did experience some kind of trauma and anxiety because again they were so young that they didn't really yeah. realize what they were doing because the little girl was like uh she was pretty much shown how you would give fellatio by using a popsicle mm-hmm. right see yeah. how I mean how they went too far that's crazy so that now crazy. that they're I don't know of age or whatever 
them looking back at that, they probably felt like, oh my they gosh. Didn't. Right. It's, it's so now that it registered, it's like a shock. Like, oh my goodness, like I ain't trusting nobody. I don't want to, oh my gosh, who's seen it? You know, people talking. Yeah, you well, start you to know. feel a little off. You know, it, it not to, I mean, not to mention, but when you go through that type of thing, right? You're thinking being young, especially when it, you go through it young, right? Mm -hmm. You can do th do some things out in the public, out in the open, right? Around other people where they might look at you like, what are you doing? You know right. what I'm saying? It, could, it, it, makes, it makes other people question you. Then you question yourself because you're like, well, wait a minute. Am I doing something that's unnormal? Am I doing something that I shouldn't be doing? Why are they looking at me like this? Or why is this happening? Why that? You know, um, sometimes you don't, you don't know. When you're a kid, you just... It's kind of like you 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 feel like something's wrong, but you're not for sure. Right, you're a little naive. If you do it in front of somebody else or whatever the case may be, then you start to realize what happened to you isn't what should have happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then now you start questioning things and you start to realize, yeah, when I was younger, wow, I was I was touched or I was something happened to me that shouldn't have happened. And that's just period. But um yeah, it's a, See, for that's me, a what I'm trying to question is um, who who's behind the camera? Who directed it? Be, and and that too. Who, who thought this was comical? Because but why is that okay? Yeah, like that's yes, weird. It's, it, to me, that's where I, it don't hit me right because I don't understand. Like when 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 did we get kids involved <laughs> in that type of in your neck, Like wait a minute. You know what I mean? Like wh like when did you get kids in, involved in something like that? That's so so called, it's quote, like, unquote, comical. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of like, um, it's for me, like, what the fuck? To me, it's it's like, okay, it's like a repeated, just a repeated cycle, repeated cycle, repeated cycle. Her people, her same people way, like that. yep, the same way, um, R. Kelly, and I know my, my stale ass wig ain't slipping because it feels a little slippery. God, it's bumbling like an eye, you know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> I'm feeling, okay, okay. This ghetto is fuck, oh well. But listen, <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, so um, get into it. R. Kelly, though, like, okay, like for instance, R. Kelly, he knew. I don't know. It's 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 like this to me. It's like I know something's wrong with me. I want help, but at the same time, I don't. I don't. And then at the same time, it's like if I do try and get help, everybody gonna look at me like this. But if I don't get help and shit, I ain't got caught all this time. Maybe I could keep it under wraps still. And just keep doing it. It's a fetish. It's like it's a fetish now. All of a sudden, like you know what I'm saying. So it's like you mean it's a fetish to fetish? Push children. You're yeah, it's almost like yeah. it's like everywhere. It's like like I want to get help, but at the same time, this is my fetish. It's like it's weird as fuck. Like what? Yeah. Get help. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. I don't. I just don't get it. So I mean, I'm glad you brought that up, though. Yeah, it's like okay. It just it reminds me of and I want to talk about that too. I want to I want to do the video on uh the plainest Jane. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the the other YouTuber. I want to bring her into the light too because she brought up something that I didn't even know what was going on. I didn't even know this shit was going on. But basically, they're trying to now in our day, they're trying to now make pedophilia or I'm gonna say PD. I'm gonna I'm gonna say PD because YouTube, you know, right, YouTube right. And stuff. Um, PD uh, 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 behavior a um, a thing now where it's basically it's not it's not called being a PD. It's not called being a pet. It's now um, being considered as what did I say it was called? Because uh, uh, one of the maps or something like that. I think it was maps. Um, minor attractive persons okay so yeah minor attractive persons so now basically they're trying to make it a law and they're trying to add these people in with the lbgtq plus community <clears throat> and they're trying to allow basically you can't help who you're attracted to in other words this is what they're saying you can't help who you're attracted to so if you're attracted to minor children this is okay this is not fucking okay <laughs> right. this is not fucking okay so because if they start adding them into these people and they start saying that this is an okay thing, it's okay to be attractive, but you bet not go too far. But now right, so you it's, it's almost far, like are you gonna be in trouble? Because right, you see what I'm like, saying? Because they're allowing they're inching their way in. Uh-huh. It's like it's the grooming. 
Let's see if oh people God. are okay with this. If we try this, you right. see what I'm saying? They're grooming the whole fucking community. The whole, yeah. And then that's a form of protection, you know, because now are you going to be protected by a law or a right. community or they're not protecting and, these you know, children it's, whatsoever. It's but I will say I this. I'm glad, I'm I got these you kids. brought up the therapy situation and getting help because what I would like the mom to show, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, maybe this and in, in, if they go to court or whatever happens, because all this is allegedly, we don't even know. Hearing the mom is all. But what I would like the mom to show yeah. is the history of from from then, from that skit from, to now. Yeah, to now. You try to go get them help. Were they going to counseling? Was things revealed during counseling? You know, because people are claiming this could be a money grab. Right. Saying that. right, right, right. And that doesn't negate the fact of what they made the kids do. But I will say. But it has been a long time. There are times where people What, nine do years? That. People do take advantage. Right. But then again, have we seen these kids in anything? It's not like they were trying to get them in things like, oh, that didn't work, so I'm mad. Let me go get this, right. money, get this bag. Because then I feel like if that was the if that was the whole motive behind the mom and the children, then I feel like we would have seen them in other things trying to get back put on. So right, I don't know. Right. Unless they was blocked. Well, the one thing I say about that, too, is um, apparently the, the, they supposedly had a lawsuit back years ago. When all this happened, they supposedly okay. had a lawsuit then, but um tiffany haddish apparently didn't want to be a part of that lawsuit didn't want to like get involved in that or something something to the to the extent of basically she she didn't she didn't she wasn't yeah she wasn't like in the lawsuit so i guess now it's like a backtrack and let's get her too so um yeah i did i mean i i I wanted that too because it's kind of like I mean, granted, I'm going to say it like this, though. I I can tell you like this. If it was fucking me, listen, you can't tell me shit. I don't give a fuck if it's the money or if it's not, right? But if I don't went through some shit, bitch, you going to pay me? Bitch, you going to... Anything that can make my life feel like it's, it's, it's substantial enough or, or I feel better about the whole situation because you're not going to feel good about the situation. Situation's already done. It's already fucked up. It is right. what it is. You might as well get what you can out of it. They're grown now at this point. So hell yeah. I feel like get your money out of it and do what you got to do. But then it just, I mean, like they said on the night and day network, yo, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, 15,000 though, my nigga. That definitely sounds like crackhead prices. I don't know what's going on. Yo. But I said, yo, I heard it that, I was like, they go, my nigga, you came out, you, y'all doing what for 15, what? I was like, that's enough um, for, um, for psychological and emotional trauma no. and damage. And I was I'm like, taking somebody for the grave. I mean, not to Listen, on it, but I'm taking you to the I grave. I'm sorry. I'm taking you straight to the bank, to the grave, wherever you got to go. But baby, you going to make sure after, after you done did me how you did me and you you all over TV and all this other shit, you were supposedly um, helping us get in the roles and doing this and doing that. Yeah. We gonna get some out of this, yeah. Because I this gotta live be with some this major, for the rest of my life. Some major trust issues. Hell yeah, major trust like, issues. My thing is, I gotta live with this for the rest of my life. Now, granted, I would hate to be in that mom's position because it's like, what the fuck do you do? And Might then have felt like she failed them. Yeah, yeah. As a mom, as a mom, I can, um, I can't really, I can't speak for her because it's a lot of, lot of shit in this situation that I just felt like wasn't like, it wasn't cool. There's a lot of pieces we don't know. Right. Yeah. It's a lot of pieces you just don't know, but, um, I wouldn't have left my kids off like that. Especially the thing is, it seems like with these industry people, it seems like when they just getting into it, why do they always have accidents? Why do they always got some shit going on? You know what I'm saying? Like when they first get into it, just like, okay, Kanye West is just jumping into it. His mom all of a sudden dies from uh, um, uh, getting work done. Um, fucking uh, Meg the Stallion. She's getting into it. Her mom dies. Her dad dies. Her grandma dies. Uh, who else? I mean, like, the list can go on. Not only that, but then you hear about the behind the scenes. You got... Bill Cosby, who done did whatever he did. You got R. Kelly, who's been called out since forever. You got all these other people that, that it's just always allegations against them. No mm-hmm. way in hell I'm letting my kid go with somebody who's just getting into the industry. Especially, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep bringing it back to the fact that 
Tiffany Yaddish was sleeping in that motherfucking car. She ain't have no house. She ain't have no place to go. She's willing to do anything to get put on. You see what I'm saying? You know, like, right. I just, I, I just her, felt like that. For her, what, what troubles me with her, and this is no disrespect to her to try to, like, take away from what we've seen her do, from mm-hmm. what we think she's done or whatever, because we still... Mm-hmm. See, for me, it's certain people, it's certain celebrities that you can see their track record. You see from the ground up, the hustle. You know what I mean? You see where they came from and yeah. you can see the obstacles and You'll different challenges they have to face. For for Tiffany Haddish, I don't see that. We don't and see none of that by shit. Me not seeing that, it makes me question the validity. Right. You know, what, what, how much have you really put in? Because, you know, from what I heard, Girls Trip was scripted. <laughs> Oh, Cat Williams. Yeah. Cat Williams said, so, first of all, she's not even funny. You know I mean? She ain't. where she come you from? Know? And, 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 and that makes sky. me question a lot of these people who want to claim. See, a lot of people want to claim a title, but don't know the work it takes to get the title. Yeah, we Same ain't thing with either. rappers and ad- people get on, no disrespect to YouTube. We, we're appreciative of the platform, but people will get on here and do a quick video or a quick skit, and automatically they claim a title. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Look, we on here, but we're not journalists, and we're not claiming it. Well, look, so, we just speak it with the fuck we right. speak it. It's, so it's, it's, like, it's facts for us. So are you <laughs> claiming a comedian because you're, you're loud and you're you're you Because to me, she's just she's just right. loud. Yeah, that's all I see of it, too. And exaggerates like, like, she exaggerates things. Yeah. So people like get excited and ex- and then it's what she's saying. At yeah, it's point. like a push. It's like a it's like a I, I am what I say I am. Like it's like a just fitting in anywhere. That's who I am. Yeah. Like when they came, you know how they like said Monique came out, was precious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just that like, was really her. You know what they said when she came out and she said she told too much about what happened at Beyonce's party. Beyonce's party said she Beyonce said when she come to another party she signed in the NDA because she talked too much. But just like that in general, okay. You just you just becoming you just getting in with this in crowd or whatever the case may be. You ain't even that big or whatever. You just getting in with them. And already Beyonce gets into an argument or a fight at her party with somebody, and Tiffany Haddish is running all around the party to look okay, for the person wrong. that she got into a fight with. Why? Mm-hmm. What you about to do? She lucky she ain't run into the girl and the girl sit her in her back pockets, okay? Because you're looking for it, bitch. <laughs> You you really press you you really pressed about it. You're looking for it, but it's just that it's just the fact that for me that was a that was a I'm trying to get in good with Beyonce. Yeah. So let me do something to to get in. Like why yeah. you always why is it always like, like uh, yeah? To me, it's like it's like looking she's always acceptance. trying to get in. Yeah, mm-hmm. looking for it's that. Never, it's but never see, somebody changed. who's passionate don't need that. Don't look for mm-hmm. that. Man. They mm-hmm. like look. I'm getting in regardless. So you don't have to give me this exactly. Thing. You don't need all that because you are, your talent should do it. You know what I'm saying? You don't need all that. Should speak for itself. Exactly. But and see, that's what makes me question Ari Spears as well. It's like, yeah, because why you y'all all of a sudden? You, huh? I said, yeah, because why y'all all of a sudden? Y'all, first of all, they both bottom of the barrel, both of them. So it's like y'all both come, like all this shit coming all of a sudden too. Yeah, they not. It's I mean, the they pop. ain't got like that. So, like, back to the... To the I'm party. right here. Man. Let me grab my drink. My drink. <laughs> <laughs> you also get... And then let me... Tell you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's up, y'all? It's one of my first videos. Can't wait to see how everybody reacts to this. Uh-uh, we got we got into too much. I got all hot and sweat. I had to turn on the air and get my drink and all. Like, like I don't know what they talking about. All right. Um. So did it? Um. Oh, it might be yeah, raining. Okay. Uh-huh. It probably did that because I walked away. But I had to get the drink. I had to get the in here. Oh, but, but but so I'm when I'm. What I'm trying to understand is why parents think that every opportunity is a good opportunity. Is it, right? Is a now, girl. That's the first thing. Oh, it's a blessing. That's the first. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Yo, this is your kid. I ain't even trying to be funny on no shit, but I like I gotta bring some light to this shit because you're supposed to like, protect your kids. I'm sorry. And yeah. They, they everybody wants to everything got a blessing on the fact that she's a single parent. So what? But you know what? No, 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 no. That's a good point. Let me tell you why it's a good point. I watch so much shit on this. I be I just be watching out about everything because I got fucking kids myself. And I pro- I promise you, <laughs> you do anything. I promise you. Yo. Think I need a drink in here, but I promise you, anybody touch mine? Listen, anybody touch mine? I'm coming through. Okay, me and Sally. Okay. <laughs> Just want to oh, let y'all know that. Um, <laughs> not even a parent, but I'm gonna tell you right now. Like, For real shit. Sorry, right, no, you know, everything. It's one of them person. things where I don't know if I would have got to the legalities of everything because my yeah, emotion yeah. probably would have took over. I, and that's real because apparently they was holding the video from her as well. They're like, it's not done yet. Let me share the screen because um, I'm gonna share her response to. What the fuck was going on? So Aries, I guess he just think he just too big for this because he ain't even responded to y'all. Oh, it's above him. Days by John Doe, who accused her and Aries Smith of grooming them when they were seven. Yeah, I think he's trying to wait to see if everybody else got to see her. Mm. Instagram and say, I know people have a bunch of questions. I get it. I'm right there with you. Unfortunately, because there's an ongoing legal case, there's very little that I can say right now. But clearly, while this sketch was intended to be comedic, it wasn't funny at all. And I deeply regret having a brief yeah, act in it. I really look forward to being able to share a lot more about the situation as soon as I can. According to Yahoo Entertainment, back in 2013, Jane Doe alleged that Spears and Haddish persuaded her to mimic fellatio for a skit. In 2014, John Doe was allegedly stripped down to his underwear to film another skit. We've Just yet not to funny. hear from, like, from um, Ray Spears on his issue man. as the lawsuit continues. Today we have our comedy high <sighs> analyst Capone and Pierre calling in along with special guests. Um, I just think Tiffany Haddish jumped into something. It was young in her career, you know, before she where she is now or for her fame or the The young comics, we do stuff like that. We jump into stuff, we try to do it. We don't think of everything. We start helping each other out and try to be funny or be into something. And it was just something that wasn't really cool. Yeah, I know she didn't think about it. The hardest all. thing they want to do is scar her child. I know Tiffany and I know uh, everything. You know, it, that wasn't their intention at all. But um, I, my biggest concern also is where was the parent? You know what I'm saying? The parent could be on the set 24 7 and see everything. The same thing with coerced and stuff. You you can see y'all can pause that and, you know, and read that on, on the set and say, Nah, I ain't doing that. My kid ain't doing that at all. You don't let the kid do that, and then later on say, Oh man, that was I was tricked into it or whatever. You saw it. You should have been there at every step of the way. So I just think it's a lot of blame to go around. Um, it was just the ill, ill skit that just didn't come off the way they wanted to, you know. And uh, at the end right. of the day, I don't think there's any intention to be any harm at all to the children. Right. So that was that on that. That's what Pierre said. And that's what Tiffany said. And child. Yeah, definitely. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't really too much feeling what uh, Pierre had to say. I mean, I don't know. I feel like he 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 jumped at oh well I know them and this is that but we all think we know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that you think you know them until they until you know them, baby. Okay. So they come around, turn around, and and they done did some extra shit, and you like, damn, that person did that. Cause you thinking you thinking you knew them from the get-go. And I'm moving us around just so our names are screwed, yeah. But, yeah, but um I don't See, know. For me, he just made the assumption like the mom, as if the mom. Yeah, it's like he jumped at her. Because there are some reports saying that she, the video, they wasn't allowing her to. It wasn't allowing, right. So I don't think she really knows. I don't think she knew exactly, like, immediately what damage was done. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't think it's so much about a blame. I think it's so much, it's more about why did you find that this was okay to do? Period. Like, where's your where's your Period. um dignity? Where's your where do you draw the line? And I right. think also there needs to be accountability on all ends. And the mom needs to understand too, and other moms, they need to, like not just moms in general, just people who's who's babysitting kids or just Anything. you know, you're responsible yeah. for kids, you're the legal guardian, whatever. I think that people need to understand, watch out who you give access to them. You know what I mean? Give me that. You reminded me again. That's what I was saying in the in in the last the last little bit. Um, I thought that 
you don't think that bringing up the fact that this is a single mom is important, but it actually for, for any single mom is actually important because I caught another video and I wish I had it. I wish I had it. Um, I can't remember where I see. I think you might have sent it to me yeah, where the guy was saying what he looks for in children. Oh, yeah. The pedophile. That, yeah. That's an interview, y'all. He I'll look saying, up the link and stuff and send it to him. Right. We can play and we can pull that up on a different time or whatever. But I mean, you know, whenever you want to share it or whatever, it doesn't matter. But he was saying that they pay attention to what kids seem off by themselves. They pay attention to is that a single parent who can't be there as much? Can uh, I think he was a gym teacher? I really think he was a gym teacher. He, he didn't say what he, he did, but school. he looked like he was a gym teacher for a school. The way he dressed mm-hmm. with the little three button up tops that they wear, mm-hmm. or whatever. Because the way he was describing it is like a kid being at school off to themselves. They don't got many friends. They don't isolation. You know, isolation. Parents can't make it to their their sports, their um, you know, their games and stuff like that. They're off by themselves. So the way he was explaining it almost sounded like he was a gym teacher who be watching kids. Observant. Observing mm-hmm. kids who are by themselves showing up to practices alone. Um, parents is dropping them off for practice or or going to their games and they're just by themselves or the parent ain't, ain't coming because they're a single parent. They got to work. Kid got to go here. Um, so, yeah, it might not be um, that much important to say, oh, it's a single parent. But at the same time, that is uh, a key detail, it seems like, for for, for people who are looking for that type of thing. PD, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, they're got a good point that. there. I, I just didn't like the mm-hmm. fact that people were trying to make it as if because of the fact it's that she's fault. a single parent that, right. well, no, like that it's okay. Like, like it's okay that she just dropped her kids off because she's a single parent. Oh, no. But mm-hmm. I'm like, no, no, that's where I was coming from more so because it's like, it, it's not about you being a single parent or having a two household because you can have you can have a spouse that travels. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're not technically a single parent. So right. for me, it was like, no, hold her feet to the fire as well. Hold every party. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Nobody gets a free pass here because at the end of the day, the people who are affected by it is who? They're it's them kids. Exactly. Your they kids. were innocent. They were young. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it, it, this definitely, I don't think it needs to, I think um, there needs to be proof. I do think there needs to be proof of the damage because you can't wait all these years. Cause, cause you know, we see the clip where they were saying that Tiffany was being extorted. So, so wait a minute, hold on. Cause uh-huh. I didn't see that. I didn't hear that. I Did I see a clip oh, of wait, that? I didn't see that. I seen a clip. I don't know. I don't remember. I seen that, at, man. I know y'all. I like referencing things. I, yeah, I, I didn't see that. Wait a that minute. Was a now. That she, they were saying that she said she was being extorted. And she just got tired of it anyway. She mm-hmm. got tired of being extorted. So I'm like, oh, mom do need to show. She should show the damage that the children had to deal with. Yeah. Because so wait a minute. So when she's saying she's been extorted, she's saying she's been paying them all these years or something. Like, what is she saying? I don't, I don't think she went into detail like that. But from what I'm taking from it, from the context of it, is she's been threatened probably multiple times about this, and mm. I'm not sure in how and what form she was taking care of it. But I mean, obviously, something was getting done for that person to stay quiet, right? And then That's now, crazy. you know, I mean, know what? You, you, you know what? She probably. I'm gonna put that. Yep. Out there. You know what I'm saying? People do that. You know what? She probably. She said she was tired of it. She probably did. did. I mean, that's a, that that's, video, that's a lot to carry home. carry on your back, right? But especially if, see, I I I can't really say I can't say nothing yet because I don't know. I didn't see I didn't see the video technically, but. Especially if she feels like, okay, yeah, it might have went a little too far, but I didn't, I didn't touch them. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't go in that route, right? All right. All this time, they've been carrying her ass and like, you're going to pay. After a while, I know she's been carrying that shit on her back and it's like, man, fuck it, I'm tired anyway. This shit, she might be at, like, at the end of the day, it's like the relief off my chest, the shit out now. Like, I mean, now, let's not miss now. She probably it's looking at it like not, you really ain't gonna get shit, right? right? And, shit. and this is no form. Am I understand? I'm looking at all sides, right? For him, my and here. for me, it's like you got to know who you're going up against as well. Be aware, mm-hmm. don't be naive, don't think, don't be a victim, don't think of the mind of a victim as well. Right. Come prepared to whatever hearing court, whatever you got going on with whatever celebrity or whoever, 
because mm -hmm. if you think she don't have a lawyer, you have a team, she got a place, team set in place, she got a team, you're mistaken. Uh -uh. I mean, you, know you, what you know what? It got to be a reason why it stayed quiet all this time, too. You're right. She got a you know team. Where so, going, uh -uh. You know what I mean? I think people shouldn't underestimate people just because of, because because from what we're seeing, it's like, why would you do that? Da, da, da. But at the same time, it's like, she is technically an actor. So mm -hmm. is that was that a job? Yeah. Was that a job? Well. And what are we holding? What are we going to hold to the fire? The fact that the mom was like, oh, yeah, I trust her with my kids. I mean, yeah, but you can trust your kids with anybody, right? <laughs> Right. There, I mean, that? you hear about this all the time. There, the, the uncle, 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 so and so, right over there in the house doing it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the home. they got a documentary on. Just HBO. because it's your uncle, do Somebody, you trust them? I mean, shit. I don't, man, uh, listen. Going through things. Yeah. So <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm trying to look at all. Family, and, you 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 go through some family shit. I don't want this some family shit. And okay. And also, what documents was signed? Because did you just like? Like I'm trying to understand, was this like a stop and go, like er, pull off, pull off, you know what I mean? drop my kids off, or was this like, all right, here go the documents. You know they're going to be acting, or you know they're going to they're going to partake in this skit, or right? Like what was, what was the conversation? You just go audition. So that's what I'm trying to figure know. out. We don't have access to. That's why I said it's a lot of puzzle pieces missing. Because the Body thing puzzle. is, usually, I mean, usually, yeah, granted, you, that's your friend, all that, cool, all good and well. Listen, I don't know. I don't, my kids, man, I don't even like, listen, I don't like sleepovers, no, none of that. I don't even, for real, for real, I don't mind kids. I don't mind doing and taking and, and doing, taking my kids and their friends or whatever. Right. But at the same time, I still don't even like to do that shit because it's like at the end of the you're day, responsible for you're responsible. Job. If something happens, these kids go off and they sneak off in the middle of the night, do some weird ass shit. The next thing you know, you wake up, the motherfuckers going, you don't know where the motherfuckers at. Now you ready to kill everybody because you're like, <laughs> what the fuck? Now, this, now I gotta call this parent, tell her your kids missing. Then they looking at you. You don't even know. Hey, you looking at me? I'm looking at you. Shit, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Yeah. But you got to carry that at the end of the day. So if you, on you. that responsibility, you also got to, as a parent, you got to accept, uh, accept the responsibility that you allowed your child to go there. Right. Because, you know, I, I mean, you know, back when you were growing up, you, you pretty much, people was getting interviews. Like, where y'all, yeah. okay, well, what time? And they better yep. call me. You know, you got to sit down. check in. You wanted to sit down. down. Yep. Like, I want to meet the parent. Who going to be there? Do they got a boyfriend, girlfriend? Date, they married. They got brothers. Interview, like, like you know I'm grandpa. So who there? <laughs> we ain't just go over somebody's house because of, of, of a friend. Like, my daughter about to be 14. She just started doing, like, little sleepovers. And I don't even, like, even now, I be like, it's times where I'm just like, no. No. Mm -hmm. and, and she looking at me for a gut. reason. She looking at me for a reason. Ain't no reason. Turn on your TV and see what's going on outside. Then you come back and tell me the reason. And you know that's what makes why. me question too. See, no. that's my other thing. If her and Tiffany had this for friends, right? They they developed this friendship, right? Mm -hmm. And then your friend goes off. Excuse me, the little fingers. <laughs> and your <laughs> friend goes off. Girl, I, I keep and, my little ashy fingers up in the. <laughs> hey, y'all see how I bite my nails? I love my nails, Calvin. But it is what it is, baby. Sure it is, huh? So here's my thing. You and Tiffany had this friends. Y'all y'all got a friendship. She blows mm -hmm. up with girls trip. Now, do you feel as though yeah. you have access to fame or Hollywood or just when did she do her pockets? Yeah, you know now that like, she I right, I see what you're saying. Meek Mill when this when this happened because he has a lyric in one of his songs where he was saying like never, never, like assume that you have access to your homie's pockets. Right, it's right, like right. you don't count their money. You don't count your friend's money and anything. Right, it's anything. like you blowing up now. You think because I'm blowing up it. now. You think you can count? Right. No. So I'm like, was it a right. situation like that? And now she's butt hurt. And it could have been. It could have been like, well, you know, like they didn't get all the 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 money or whatever they thought they could have back then. The but now, yeah. shit, this bitch done blew up. You so blew up, I want my money. You but it's saying? like fifteen thousand though. <laughs> no, right. right. It's what the not, fuck is a fifteen thousand? Right, we excuse me, ma'am. We understand the that's fuck? nothing. We understand that's nothing because we have that. We have financial knowledge. Well, yeah, yeah. But somebody yeah. who don't got finances and they like someone who don't understand finances. Something, and I, that's another thing. You speaking of that, 
I wondered, I wondered where she met this friend at. Like, how did y'all become friends? Was she homeless? Was she in a homeless shelter too? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, where did they become friends? Yeah, we need that background. We need that background. Right. But that background is kind of like, if they is coming from that standpoint too, I mean, yeah, 15,000 might be a little grab for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was the foundation like, of the friendship? What, right. Like, what this was the foundation? I'm trying to understand. Like, I, I mean, right now, and I can think of friends right now mm -hmm. that I could leave. I'm trying to think of something most important possession of mine, whatever, but I, I could see, I don't want to say that because that's not, that's not a human, but Okay. I'm family oriented. Because you know, know where my kids, and you know where, right. so where if I had my kids kid and something emergency happened and you call me, you're like, well, who are you leaving with? I know off the top of my head who to leave them with, who not to leave who them not with. Who not to, right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? So. Shit, I can say. I mean, shit, I got family members. I won't even. She my dad, and <laughs> my dad was like, call up your so-and-so and ask so-and-so, can they watch so-and-so? Hell no, never mind. I'll call out of work. <laughs> and like you said, I everybody knew, everybody understood and had access to mm -hmm. know the Hollywood casting couch. Right, right, not, right. That's what so, I'm saying. It's like certain things. On, I mean, I'm Somebody not saying that. Because a lot of people, and this is the problem now, a lot of people don't believe in certain shit. They don't, mm -hmm. they don't get into it. They don't look into that. They don't research. They don't tap in. They call everything a, a conspiracy until you in it, right? Look at the fucking time we're in now. Look at the look, look, look at where we're in now. They told us years ago <laughs> it's going to be famine. It's going to be uh, uh, y'all not going to have enough food. Look, our grandparents told us long ago. Water. Look at the water. Pour up your water now. Water and they told us that years and years. Of, like, our grandparents died, what, back in 2000? Shit. Pop-up died back in 2000, like, thir mm, no, 2009. 2009. My mom died in 1996. <coughs> they mm -hmm. was telling us back then, make sure, and we was kids, but, you know, like, our parents and shit, I knew what was going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. but... Shit, I can go in my dad's basement. He had shit stored up, ready to go. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? This is years later now. Uh -huh. when all that shit was happening, and motherfuckers was getting snatching up waters, and they fighting in the goddamn stores because toilet paper low as fuck. <laughs> he had some shit in the basement. Like, ah, this is our year. You know what I'm saying? But this is what I'm saying. Like, people don't think about that shit until they until it. they until start happening. He, and we're in that time. You yeah. should know how to fucking plant a goddamn Stop seed sleeping. if you need to. Mm -hmm. Make sure you got some water stored up. Get some shit. Like everything should be, you should already think ahead, yo. Mm -hmm. Because it's like you wait until see, something happens to your kids, then your kids is crying and coming to you with this. It, it's certain things you gotta think ahead with. Stop right. letting them go everywhere. Because That's here's the thing, is. even when you look at R. Kelly's situation, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody jumped on the bandwagon and was like, Well, you know, it's a lot of girls, you shouldn't do this, and look at all the people that's right. in the documentary. But in my mind, I was thinking, You mean to tell me that many people were that was that thirsty for fame? That's what that's mm -hmm. saying to me. Because yep. they was voluntarily pretty much handing their kids off. Right, right, right. So, that right there. Now see, saying? his situation is a little different. Granted, I don't fucking I don't agree with shit he did. Don't no, agree with shit I don't he either. Did. I don't either. I know how to separate the artist from the, the, me. the person. But at the same time, Great same artist. other time. Hey, yo, come here, miss. Um, excuse me, sir, ma'am. Hold up. Cause y'all, cause, cause y'all not. We uh, uh don't be trying to walk away like y'all ain't did shit. Uh, uh y'all in this too. Why don't I have access to my child? Why they ain't like the fuck up too? <laughs> it's just certain. They handed that, the, they sp it's like they sparingly handed these 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 kids over. Oh, this is our kill. Like we got to get in with this. I feel like she did. That. And then now the consequences is coming up. Right. This and now thing. somebody got to pay, and I don't got it. Aaliyah been a thing. It ain't. It wasn't no. It wasn't no. Uh, uh, let's just try and see the fucking the the golden shower's been a thing. All that been a thing. Where was y'all at? We everybody else heard about it. Where was y'all? I went. I, listen, I don't give a fuck. What, listen, <laughs> okay. You damn near had to. You if you wanted mines, you'd have to kidnap them and put them in the trunk. And probably need to and go drop me off on the edge that. of the bridge. Take you because I'm not. It's not going to be a. It's not going to be a. Oh, this is R. Kelly. I'm gonna just get my kid. Like yeah. what? I was confused. And another I'm like, thing, because she she claims she knew her, but but I don't feel like she really knew. I don't her. think she knew her you like that. I, mean, I, I think they might have. The way it's coming off is 
it's it's not it's not it's, it's not, not it's not making it's sense. It's like something right. missing in between. And then the, also what I was looking at is like, okay, think about this. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what territory you're about to put your child in? And I don't mean with Tiffany Haddish in them. I'm looking past that. Let's say that they would have did the skit, it would have got big. Let's just say it gets mm-hmm. big. Now they got access to different movies and things like that. You're you're giving your child access to that world. To that it's world in general. You, yeah. So know what comes with that yeah. territory. Yeah. Because this was honestly, we we got to see this, but usually we don't get to see this. Right. This happens. This is not randomly, oh, this just happened this one time. No, <laughs> that they, was one thing. Um that was one thing about my cause see, we was in that when I was younger. It was like now I didn't go as far as uh my brother went into modeling and acting and stuff like that. You know, my brother did the whole Tommy right. Hill figure and all that shit. Mm-hmm. But my mom was constantly there. Shit, my mom was they they don't you know, took my mom, mom was on the hip, okay? They was having her style my brother and styling people. So she Your was there. You know what I'm saying? She was able to see what was going on. Like where my yeah. kids at eyesight, like, you know what I'm saying? Um when we I went to 106, there, you know what I mean? Like when so we went to 106, she she came with yeah, like my mom made sure away. she was there every, every room, step of the way. It was never really no Even when they shut the door, she was still doing the nothing. Face. I mean, now, granted, when I, like I said, when I did my, like, my little acting classes or whatever, or I did, uh, like, the dance classes or whatever, they would come in and see what was going on. You know what I'm saying? You see a whole classroom full of kids or a whole, like, you know, you got people in there that was more comfortable. But now you speaking of a setting where it's like a casting call and it's just adults and just a couple like just you and you and that person that's supposed to be casting or something like that or you're casting by yourself yeah we'd have never because yeah, it would have never thing. happened who's to say who's to say that i'm not saying that eric spears and tiffany had a right to go along with it because i feel like they should have drew a line i was like i'm not doing that like i'm not, not doing that it. yeah i just feel you know like why didn't you say that they should have something but i will say this at the end of the day how much control did they have? I say that because let's say they opt yeah. out and say I ain't doing it. Well, guess what? They get two different people and they do it anyway. Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. It's nothing. People it's, they treat um, people are treated as they're disposable. Like it's nothing. And that industry so it comes and that's back the, to I feel like that's the decision you make and you t- that's the the chances you take when you're trying to risk. get into that bag because you that's gotta think. Risk. What they keep saying, what they keep saying is that this happened over not this happened nine years ago. This happened when they first got on. You heard Pierre say in their little interview, well, mm-hmm. you know, when we all start out, we all doing this, this, and that. What you mean we all doing what? Like, right, like that makes you, it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. yeah, you, you, you saying it like that makes it like okay, all right, that this was a simple mm-hmm. mistake that she shouldn't have did or they did, but you knew what you was doing. You're the fucking adult. I don't give a fuck. Like, at the right. end of the day, if I'm looking at a skit and it looks a little iffish, like, oh, like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? Right. Then I'm we got kids out. doing this? This is a little weird. Right. I'm out. Dave Chappelle, you know I mean? he stood his ground with the press. That? Stood his ground. Why is it that when they're first coming on, like he said, this was before, like he was saying, this was before Aries was really even an Aries or Right. You know, Tiffany was even a Tiffany. Well, that right there alone tells me, to me, in my eyes, they felt like I got to do this to get on. And I, to I me, don't really have a choice do or I don't like I need to do this so that we can blow up and be a thing. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just what it came off to me as. Um, It feels no, like to me, sure. it feels like with a lot of these, like a lot of these industry people and a lot of them celebrities in the back end. Um, I feel like it's all about what they want in that moment and what they're trying to get to. I, I really just feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, they, no, they, right. they, a lot of them, they're like, they're needy. They, they want what they want when they want it. They don't give a fuck about nobody else. I mean, shit. We are, <laughs> I, I don't know. They, they it just, I can't, I can't fuck with it. I can't get with them. I can't, I like, I don't give a fuck about them. A lot of them. A lot of those celebrities. And see, a lot of people, they're, see, they're nasty. You know how they say you you know you're making a deal. They, they say you're making a deal with the devil, mm-hmm. right? There's things that people do that will affect them forever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, like they can't sleep or can't even get the thought out of their mind. They'll keep going. They're smiling from the camera, right? And they've they been going all this over. time. And I say that because that's why I said watch who you giving, which you which you're really signing your kids up for, mm-hmm. because you know. At the end of the day, if, if your child is like, hey, I want to be 
an actor or mm-hmm. act, you know what I mean? I act, I say act, right? You know, you get them auditions and all that. I mean, and you get them training and all that. But as a parent, I feel like it's your responsibility to know what you're putting them in, what room you're putting them in, what table right. they're sitting at. Because at the end of the day, that's not those people's kids. Yeah, they looking at it as a business. That, yeah. I hate to yeah. say that, but it's a business. The fact that now, see, I, I, now that brings me to all the Disney kids and all them. Like now, uh, what was the the one little black girl said her 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 mom wasn't having it. Um, uh, Sky is that Sky. her? Name? Yeah. She said she wasn't she wasn't staying nowhere. Like you know what I'm saying. But the other, it seemed like the other the other little actors and stuff like that. Like um, the Lindsay Lohans and um, what was it? Ba- uh, ba- Blackstreet. Bo- what was their name? Uh, McGuire. Backstreet uh, Boys. Is that him? Where uh, uh it, where is it? In sync. Oh, no. fuck it! Oh, I don't know, but Justin Timberlake was, was in yeah, it. Just to, okay, but hey, he was he was saying that they were saying that they was having sleepovers at these people's houses and shit. Like, yeah, why are y'all seeing that? They're, they're, they're also like this is they weird. They also to me. have access to things that most children wouldn't. Yeah, like there's things around them that most wouldn't have access to. I so just that's understand. why I'm saying you got to know what room you're putting them in as a parent. Period. Right. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of the parents, what it was is they were so thirsty for it for their kids because they knew once their kid got on, they got on. But it's like, in the back of your mind, you're hoping nothing bad happens to your child, but I ain't heard nothing, so I'm going to just go ahead and go against my better will because a lot of them, when they came out after the fact, a lot of them was like feeling like, well, I shouldn't have did that or it's almost like they, they, they had an inkling or they they kind of was like, damn, like, I, I, I feel bad now. Like, because I knew, yeah, and, but I didn't, but, but like, I didn't, you know, uh-huh. but yeah, also, it's like that, that thing is this. thin line. Th- that, and also, the just, other thing is this, you got to understand, like, you're putting your kid to work immediately. You yeah, understand? like, just everything. Like, hours and, and time that they don't get to be a kid. They're sacrificing their mm-hmm. child. So, they're around adults all day. That's why they grow up so fast. They grow up way too fast. Mm-hmm. Look at Usher. Look at the fucking Bow Wow. Like all of them. That's the all they knew. Admitted. They admitted to the fact that, and they're success right now. You know, no disrespect. Oh, here it's we go. The fact, it's the truth. That's what they said. They stated out of their own mouths that they they seen things and had access to things that most kids would. And most kids Chris didn't. Brown said they he said he didn't get told it. no. Who else? Young boy. He came and he said they didn't get told. They didn't get told no. Who's gonna tell them no? <laughs> Well, shit, and same, the same with the R. Kelly, who's telling them no. Now look, that's what I'm saying. Now look, but um, I don't know. I, and then you know, I don't know about you, but do you remember when you're younger and uh, you can tell? Okay, when you're in the sport, like like we like dance, we could tell if if we're not if we weren't getting attention from our dance coach. Uh huh. It, it was like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna I go want hard. her to see me or because you, you wanna be saying? you I wanna, wanna be head or whatever it is. You wanna be in the front. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So who's to say how kids end up being when they get into those rooms? Right. Like how like their mind might be like, you know what? It's I kind of like you're just gonna do it because yeah, you know, like you I mean, especially as a kid, when you're especially when you don't got that other half or you don't got certain parents or certain mm-hmm. certain people in your life that are vital to the decision making. Yep. Yeah. You can be on some attention because you're not getting that attention at you home. You don't know no better. You don't know no better. You so now you want the attention. You, you're just going to do whatever you're told to do at that point mm-hmm. in time. But shit, these kids, they knew, they, I mean, the way they're putting it is like they knew something they was right because they was crying they got, instantly. They got, you know, like the boy. Like, uh, you, because the little girl wouldn't know how to do that to a popsicle to insimilate yeah. that she's giving fellatio. So you can tell that she was taught to do that and i'm i couldn't i couldn't even in my mind i'm i just i'm sitting i'm like i could never do that not even if you was 15 16 and it was a sex class that you need to learn yeah, i'm so like Ugh. this is why i didn't want to watch the video I because I, it was just like crazy i just i i can't i know i'm gonna get agitated and, and Girl, pissed off and everything I like i just can't i couldn't finish <laughs> I can't. it i couldn't finish I can't, it because i just me, can't I'm not like, gonna lie. Know. It made me angry when I see angry. other kids going through shit and shit like that. Like it makes me think of my kids instantly. So I, mm-hmm. I, I just can't watch shit like that because I'm gonna instantly get mad. Because if it was mine, I'm gonna instantly wanna hurt 
somebody right. or something. So that's why I was like, man, it just I don't I'll just hearing about it is just like mm, right. It's sick. It is. Sick. It definitely but, is. That's why I think you know, you know, they gonna go forward all this and stuff. They better address it right. Cause all this little like oh food over here, couch over there. You see the dining room over there. You see the ocean out there. That's cute. But you gotta, I'm thinking they better address it right to, too because you know fifteen thousand ain't enough. Especially, I mean, it's two of y'all. Would you? If that's seven. What seventy? Uh, seventy five hundred. Shit, is it seven? <laughs> it's seventy five hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's seventy five hundred rupees. That ain't. I mean, what you gonna do with that? You gonna blow that in a day? I mean. I that's not gonna like what it'll give you maybe that instant gratification for that moment, but that's, that's not like, doing the nothing. The long term effects is what you I'm need thinking a, about, right? And that's why I'm like, is the mind, if the the mind of the mother, where is it, and who's well, controlling this? That's what they were saying is that she's off something because, and that was my question too. Like, why is this the daughter handling all this shit? You see what I'm saying? That's like, right. the why is she pushing right? right. So they were saying like the the mom, I think they were saying the mom was like in an institution or she was oh. like messed up or so something after that. I think her. it I think it kind of messed her up or something. Um I don't want to like ugh, say too yeah. much about that because I'm not for sure, but you know, just from what I heard. But um it, it it's just all I, you know, I, I just hope they can get something where is and they they're they're for sure guaranteed the counseling they need, you know what I mean? and the therapy and everything so that way they can move forward in life in general because right. it, the world don't stop for you it don't it Whatever don't stop abuse, That's not, and, and this is somebody speaking from and that, his, his, the brother got to he got to come out of, like i know is 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 a, a tricky situation it's hard so. I'm not going through whatever their situation is you know i'm right. going through my own shit but the, my situation is not theirs theirs is not mine right but, He's got to cut like you. You can't live like that. No, like that's why I said they ain't gonna need can't live both stuff all because, in the world. That yeah, right. gonna need real. That's why I'm like they're gonna need something because you got to keep moving like, um, even after you get this money. Because I don't think it's really about. I really don't think it's about money. The fact that they so ask either. for that small of amount tells me it's not about money. Yeah, it can't be. It, it can't, can't be. be. So Clearly. I know it ain't about money, <laughs> but I do think that. We can't always just throw that on it because I feel like, oh, we can go to court, pay that, be done. No, let's let's look at the long term effect. Let's address. Then I think it was like, why? Okay, if it is only like fifteen thousand, why haven't you just? I mean, you want this shit to be going or whatever. I know they didn't want to do this shit, shit in the public. Like why y'all ain't just handle that, that shit? It's just fifteen thousand dollars. Ain't you a you out here in Cabo showing the motherfucker talk about? Look at that boat. Look at the book right. thing for my selling. Let me go up to this hotel room. Girl. And then you want to come out, talk about. Well, I could talk about it when it's time to talk about it. And I mm -hmm. girl, listen. You should have handed that money over real quick and been done with this. I don't, I maybe, maybe, like she said, like you said, she's been being extorted or whatever. So maybe it's happened more than once. I don't know. Yeah, I don't but know. I don't it just know. it just seemed all that just seemed off like fifteen thousand dollars. Like, come on, man. See, here's the other thing, though, too. Know. See, that's a good point you brought up, too. But here's another thing. There's people who have been paid off before, and they'll keep coming. And that you know might be... I mean? just it's, almost like a, it's almost like giving a... It's almost like giving a... What's those you feel? You you give bread to... Allowance birds. and shit. You give, bird, you give a bird a piece of bread. They're coming back for more. No, yeah, they come back for it. Right. So... Not and that, I thought about that, that, too. That like... Kids, because maybe not, it was more because maybe that's why they're only asking for 15000 because for 15, maybe yeah. it was more over the years. Who knows? If she says she's been being extorted, she might have been paying them off all this all these years. And maybe this time she got tired and was like, fuck that. I'm not paying shit else. And it was like, well, we're going to put it out to the public or whatever. And, and yeah. only ask for 15000 because shit, they was already getting money anyway. I mean, you could be it could be on the yeah. something about that too. That too, yeah. It's gonna could come out. It. It's all gonna come out. I don't know why people think yeah. we're done and dark don't come to the light. Yeah, I mean, this is this is not out. something. I don't think this is something that would go away overnight. No, um, not something like this. Especially now because people are just like, like I said, we're in a time where it's like everybody seems to be waking up. There's still some people who are still in the dark about these celebrities, and they go hard for them. Mm -hmm. uh, and let me just say that they don't give a fuck about you don't know you, you they don't care even show. when they do know you even when they do know you <laughs> they don't give a fuck 
I, and there's celebrities damn. that have said that in their own mouth. You know, like listen, I don't it's shit. Only a I've worked with I've worked right. with you know me and Jance have worked with whoever we worked with or whatever. Right. You know, a little styling thing. She may not have been a, a A-list celebrity, but she was a celebrity and she's big and she into that model and whatever the case may be in a and and whoever else, right? But working with them, they're, they're assholes. They don't give a fuck <laughs> about you. Your moms, your dad, your kids, your mother, your grandmother, whoever. They don't give a fuck about none of that shit. All they care about is what they're getting out of you in that moment and then that point in time to get whatever they need done. And they don't pay for <laughs> shit. Just to let you know. Okay. And you know what else, too? I think people, like, we're referring to them, you know, we're referring to the whole celebrities word. word. But at the end of the day, these are just, these are people. Regular people. Money. That's the problem. Money, right? <laughs> so I say this because People idolize. it's almost like going into the ocean, going to a beach and going into the ocean and acting as if you're not in the wild. Just because you go out there in that ocean and it's pretty and all that, it doesn't mean that something can't happen or mm-hmm. you ain't in the wild. You're in, you're in the wild. It's just mm-hmm. pretty water. You know what I'm saying? You don't so they need got, this just They just have a name. Yeah, they, they just, just have, have a name. name. That's it. And a brand and and they're kind of glossed over them and people just think, oh, I'll bow to you. Nah. Be and they, you they, they be into some some weird ass shit that us normal people don't be into. So it's like, some of them, yeah. it's like you gotta watch. I don't know. You gotta watch them, man. Like, mm-hmm. shit. Don't I don't, give people I don't. a pass. Like, I feel like, I, I feel like people just be like, oh, yeah, that's such and such. I'm cool with such and such. I'll just give them a pass. That's no, how I feel like the whole R. Kelly oh, thing happened. Oh, you can watch happened. my child or oh, you can do just that. Don't give nobody no pass. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel like the whole R. Kelly thing happened because oh, it's R. Kelly. Oh, it definitely did. You know, but they was going backstage, going to the studio. I don't, like people are just mm-hmm. oh, your priorities. They, they the priorities is fucked. It's just messed up because I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck if Beyonce came and knocked over my door, bitch, and I be this to the bottom of my motherfucker. All right, listen, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Listen, she came and knocked on the door and said, "We looking for kids, bitch." I don't give a fuck. Listen, I don't. You can go going down the block next door, Nate. I don't give a fuck, but not here, okay? Not here. I don't give a fuck. You mean to tell me these motherfuckers is just going? To, oh, oh, we gonna get backstage passes? Your kids is young as fuck. You're taking them to a fucking grown ass man. Uh, in conclusion, so um, yo, we about to get up out of here. Um, thanks for tuning in with us and rocking with us. But in conclusion, what's your last thoughts on this, uh, Monet? We, we, what you got for me? Mm-hmm. What you got? So, for <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I'm thinking like, if you a parent or someone who looking into getting your kids or someone in the industry by all means just learn from this situation you know what I mean take notes and just be aware (laughs) don't do it listen all I got for y'all is don't do it listen nah but for real though uh yeah nah like like Monet said I mean if y'all going through this just uh, take precaution, man. Be there with your kids. Don't just drop them off, leave them with people. Um, no matter how much you think you know them. I mean, shit, like you just got to be, you got to be over top of your kids, just regardless of anything. Because, um, you know, a lot of what, what people say or what they all, like in all these situations, you know, the common denominator is, or I, I felt like I could trust this person or I thought I could trust them. It's always, I think I can trust, but mm-hmm. you should know, just know. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you in your heart can't say, I, I absolutely can trust this person or I know this person, I absolutely feel comfortable with my kids going with this person without me being there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Even then I said, shit, I still say, don't do it. <laughs> don't also, do it. just to add no. on real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just hope that the kids get what they need. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't know if it's mm-hmm. the finances or whatever. I'm not even going to money because I don't really know how to put a dollar amount on that type of on your innocence, innocence. pretty yeah. much. So, you know, I just hope everything comes out okay. And as far as Tiffany and Aries, you know, I it is what it is. I can't, you know, don't like, tra- we're my trash bin. You say <laughs> it is what it is. The videos. I feel like I need little. Out. Whenever you reactions, whenever you do something, just always have that idea that it can get out. Whenever you do something behind a camera, that's just the reality.
Can I say something? Throw their asses in the trash. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. I don't. Because, baby, if they was mine, I would have wanted to put her in the trash head first. Real shit. But, um, yeah, throw them in the trash. I don't, y'all supporting them? I, write down in the comments if y'all still going to support them. Mm. You know, some of y'all, mm, some of y'all like to talk that shit, but y'all still going to be up in the, y'all still going to support it. They got a movie coming out. You right in the movie theater with the popcorn like that. Nah, listen, is y'all supporting or no? Mm. Tell us down in the comments. Yeah, your name. Yeah, because I ain't want it. Put them in the trash. And this is all Put allegedly. <laughs> this is all allegedly. <laughs> you allegedly. Have no idea. But I'm allegedly, this ain't no allegedly when I say <laughs> put them in the motherfucking trash. Oh but anyway, this is um been um Scandalous Saturdays with Monet and Cy J, even though it ain't Saturday. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> it's our Saturday. But, um, welcome to the party. And um, thanks for tuning in with us. Come back and chill with us the next time. Listen, we're going to be going live on Saturdays. So this is what you're going to get on Saturdays. We're just going to pull up and talk talk our shit. Y'all pull up and talk y'all shit with us in the chats. Um, come visit us. While we do our thing and y'all do y'all thing from the crib and put us on the TV, put us on y'all phones, whatever you want to do, like the video, make sure you share this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all like being, you know what? <coughs> I'm going to just, just mind my business and share that. Because y'all like to be stingy, but I ain't saying nothing. But Ooh. like the video. <laughs> yes. Like-, mean, like the video. Like that's the most easiest thing y'all could do to support one another or whatever the case may be we ain't asking for no donation or nothing like that but, I mean, you can Great. support on the donation with a little like button you know what I'm saying yeah. but anyway that's all I got for y'all alright like comment subscribe oh. like comment subscribe Um, put your notification bells on and we'll see y'all next time we out this short peace <laughs> Over there, knock it over. What the fuck? We out, y'all. <laughs> and then time to go. <laughs> Cut up a bitch, shut up. Okay. Yeah, we really, really act a fool with it. Bring the girls out that be shaking that ass. Uh-huh. Spin the bring the niggas out that be spinning that cash. Ding. Call a friend, pull up. Yeah, we all at the club. We yeah. going up all night and we don't get no fuck. Say, ooh, ah, uh, let me see what you got. Ooh, ah, uh, uh, baby, give me my cuts. I say, ooh, ah, uh, uh, now they calling the cops, but let that bitch burn. Cause I ain't done yet. I spit fire on the track, make the lace sweat. Cause I'm a hot boy, I'm a big threat. Love getting money, call it rich sex. And I'm a good look.